Tesla Model Y performance can now power your appliances. Finally here. Hey EV fans, this is Hussain, your host, and welcome back to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for everything electric, powerful, and downright exciting in the EV world. Before we dive in, quick heads up. This video includes original reporting and commentary, so all credit is reserved, of course. And now a question for you. If your EV could power your entire weekend camping trip, would you use it to run a grill, your laptop, or maybe even your air conditioner? Drop your answer in the comments, because I want to know. Also, let's smash a target of 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments this week. Oh, and don't forget to hit the hype button in the comment section. It's free, it's fun, and it shows the EVpedia family at full power. Now, let's jump into today's electrifying update. Tesla has officially introduced Vehicle to Load, or V2L, on the refreshed 2026 Model Y performance, a feature that allows the car to send power from its battery to devices and appliances. While this is a long-awaited addition for Tesla owners, it's not without some important details. First, this isn't a full vehicle-to-home setup. In other words, you won't be running your entire house off the Model Y yet, but you can power tools, small appliances, and other essentials directly from the car. So how does it work? Tesla requires a separate accessory, the Tesla Outlet Adapter, which costs $80. This adapter connects to the latest mobile connector, and then plugs into the car's charging port. Once connected, the Model Y performance can provide up to 120 volts at 20 amps to two household outlets simultaneously. That gives you a total output of 2.4 kilowatts, plenty for powering power tools, small kitchen appliances, or even charging multiple devices during a weekend getaway or outdoor adventure. Interestingly, the Model Y performance becomes only the second Tesla to officially support V2L following the Cybertruck, while Hyundai, Kia, Ford, and GM EVs have offered similar features for years. Tesla has been slower to roll out this capability across its lineup. In fact, Tesla's own confirmation came via a reply on X to a Grok AI-generated comment, rather than from its official website or the initial feature list when the car debuted. But that's Tesla for you, always keeping a little mystery in the mix. It's worth noting the difference between vehicle-to-load and vehicle-to-home. Vehicle-to-home allows an EV to supply energy to an entire house during an outage, especially if paired with a power wall. That's something the Cybertruck can theoretically do. Vehicle to load, by contrast, is more limited but still extremely practical for powering tools, camping gear, or even keeping a small fridge running during a tailgate party. Of course, there are unofficial ways to access V2L on some Tesla models but using anything outside of the official Tesla outlet adapter could risk your warranty. So if you're thinking of trying hacks or third-party setups, proceed carefully. All in all, this is an exciting step for Tesla fans and EV enthusiasts alike. Being able to harness your EV's battery to power devices brings a whole new level of convenience and versatility to electric driving. Whether it's for a work site, a weekend adventure, or just emergency preparedness, the 2026 Model Y performance is now a little more than just a car. It's a mobile power source. And now, the answer to our intro question. Yes, you absolutely can use the Model Y performance to run appliances, but within limits and with the official Tesla outlet adapter. Personally, I think this is a brilliant move by Tesla giving owners a taste of what vehicle-to-load can offer without overcomplicating the system. What do you think? Would you use your EV to power your weekend gadgets or tools? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because I genuinely want to hear your ideas. Here's a fun tidbit. Did you know the first EVs with V2L capability were actually introduced in the early 2010s by smaller automakers in Asia? Tesla is just now catching up, but they're doing it in style with their high performance spin. Huge thanks for watching all the way through. Remember to smash that like button, 
subscribe if you haven't already, and help us hit our 10,000 like and 1,000 comment goal. And don't forget, head down to the comment section, hit that hype button, and let's push EVpedia even higher so more EV fans can discover our content. Your support keeps this channel charged, and we couldn't do it without you. Stay electrified, and I'll see you in the next video.